Hi, families. It's me, the happy teacher. So in the last segment, we talked about looking for words that are new. So now that we've looked for words that are new and we've read the first page, we want to make sure that we are self-monitoring. You want your reader to self-monitor to make sure that they understood what they just read. That means they comprehended it because if they just read it and they don't understand what they read, that's not comprehension. That's just reading words. So the way that this would look is that you've already made sure it's a just right book. You've looked for words that are new and now your child's read the page. So remember, sometimes I'll step into the role of the child and other times I'll be the teacher. A boy had a pet fly. The fly was named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Hopefully, your child's also looking at the pictures while they're reading. Before turning the page, you want to say to your reader, what did you just read about? And your child should be able to tell you that there was a boy that had a pet fly and the boy and the uh, fly was named Fly Guy. If your child says, I don't know, just say, okay, well, good readers go back and reread. So let's go back and reread. A boy had a pet fly. The fly was named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name, Buzz. Okay, what did we just read? Well, there was a boy who had a pet fly named Fly Guy, and there was something else. And then have the child go ahead. If they need to go back and reread, that's totally fine. This is a reading behavior that some students are still learning. Now, the important thing here is whether they're reading Super Fly Guy or they're reading Junie B. Jones or Judy Moody, or a nonfiction book, any book that they're reading, I was looking for a nonfiction book, but any book that they're reading, they need to be able to self-monitor. This is for all readers. And I tell my students that even when I was working on my master's degree and when I had started going back to school last year, I as an adult needed to do this to make sure that I had understood what I read because sometimes I would get distracted or sometimes there were words I didn't know and I had to figure out what the words meant. So this is a behavior that all readers need to do to make sure that they understand what they just read. Thank you and happy reading.